heemstrafuturist.com. We're talking to a uh, writer, a social critic, James Howard Kunstler, author most recently of World Made by Hand, a novel about the end of the oil era. Prior to that, a number of books, including uh, best known perhaps The Long Emergency, also kind of about the end of the oil era and what it would mean to society. So you don't see, you see more of a then uh, eventual movement back to towards smaller towns as compared to what a lot of people assume, and I probably assume this a lot myself, that people will move from the outer suburbs into the central city. Yeah, I in think that, in order to deal with the transportation issues and be able to. That's I think that's just walk a walk and so be able to walk and so. I think on. that's a simplistic assumption, and I, and I don't think it's going to quite happen that way. I think that some people will move into the cities, mm -hmm. but on the whole, I think the cities are going to contract. I think they will densify around their cores, their old cores, mm -hmm. and if they're lucky to have them around their waterfronts. Mm -hmm. But whatever you know, whatever the material beyond the, the old core is, uh, you know, is up really uh, the the jury's out on the, what the value of that and whether it will be, you know, retrofitted for anything. I think the poster child for this right now is Baltimore, mm -hmm. where this is actually happening. You're seeing actually quite a very emphatic uh, rebirth of the very very oldest parts of the city, the old neighborhoods yeah. like yeah. the downtown Fells Points, uh, Canton, and the waterfront, which is a very complex waterfront of multiple little bays and inlets and harbors. Um, but everything beyond the, the very center of the city is just falling apart, you know. And um, I think that's sort of the poster child for where we're heading. Uh, the the, the Sunbelt cities in the southeast, I think we're going to see another phenomenon there because, you know, as I said in the long emergency, what, what you have in the Sunbelt is a, a sort of a culture of extreme hyper-individualism joined to a romance with firearms and violence. And, and what it will combine with is, uh, you know, um, the defense of hyper-individualism with guns, yeah. which is not a good recipe for civic cohesion. Uh, and that's why, you know, I, I, I think we're going to... Huh? To say the least, yeah. 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 Um, the, uh, time, time frame again. Um, when do you think that you'll look back and say, this, this, this is really trending or has moved in the direction that I was anticipating is it 2020 is it 2030 oh no i think we're we're well on our way now i would say that we're in the zone of yeah. the long emergency we've entered the yeah. zone of yeah. the long emergency you know right now look at the fi the financial sector is going through severe problems of legitimacy you know they uh, uh, they created a whole set of uh, new engineered financial instruments to make up for the probability that we're not going to be generating the kind of industrial wealth that we were used to. It's turned out that a lot of these novelty financial things uh, are basically swindles and, and that the, the wealth that is represented in them is vanishing. So that's a huge problem. We see the oil price going up 10 percent in two months. You know, mm -hmm. um, that, that shows that something disturbing is happening in the, the complex system of the oil markets. Um, you know, we have heard about food riots. Uh, those have been in the headlines. Yeah, yeah, and the price yeah. of uh, commodity, grains, wheat, corn, is going through the roof uh, all over. They've entered uncharted territory. So there's an awful lot that's going on right now that is going to have, you know, is going to send shockwaves out um, into the months and, and the, just the short-term future. Last question. What, what will be a couple of ways in which you think, if this all played out, as you anticipate that it is likely to. In what ways will we be better off at the end of it all? Well, you know, I wrote a novel about this called World Made by Hand. I tried to imagine this post-oil future and to do it in, in a vivid way. Uh, you know, there, there are going to be, I think, quite a few benefits. I think uh, living locally, more locally than we mm -hmm. do now, will be a big benefit. I think reviving local economies that, that also are uh, intertwined with social roles will be important. Um, I think that uh, a lot of the aggravations of being tyrannized by automobiles, you know, uh, is, that's going to be a diminishing um, element of our lives. Um, I think we'll get to know our neighbors better. Um, there'll be less canned entertainment. We'll have to make our own music. We're going to have to work shoulder to shoulder with our neighbors at things that matter. We're going to have to get serious about politics and government. 
uh, on a local level. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. can't afford to become, uh, we can't afford to continue being a nation of clowns, you know, which is what we've become. Yeah. You know, a nation yeah. of Ronald McDonald clowns. Yeah. You know, we don't have the luxury of that anymore. By the same token, you know, all the avant-garde, cutting-edge people, we're not going to have the, the luxury of being ironic anymore either. You know, life is going to be a lot more direct. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We're not going to have the luxury of designing buildings for our cities that just confound people, you know, and mystify them. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, and I say that because, you know, I, I passed the Rem Koolhaas Library yeah, yes, in Seattle yes, twice yes. today already. Yes, yes. So, yes. you know, I, I do think that life is going to be different, and we're going to have to, we're also going to have to be brave and resourceful. Yeah. And so, um, you know, a lot of the complacency that we see and, you know, um, you know, gener Generation X, you know, sl slackerism, which has continued for, you know, 20 years. You know, I think that's going to be coming off the menu. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to find we out. We're going to find out in the next uh, next couple of years. Well, uh, I think we'll uh, find uh, out a bit. Uh, James writes a, uh, his blog, uh, as far as I can tell, every Monday. There yes, is a, that's there the schedule. There is a new blog entry, and he's very faithful. I don't do it every I, day, but I try to do it yeah. regularly every and, week. Every, every Monday, and, and I encourage people to, fi to find James Howard Kessler's blog. Uh, look for his novel, World Made by Hand. Look for his earlier work, such as The Long Emergency. The Geography of Nowhere. Yeah, Geography Home of Nowhere. Home from Nowhere, the okay. sequel. Uh, what was the one at the end, Life at the End of Oil, or, or what was the title? That was, that was not you, my that book. Was not, that was no. not your title? Okay. Um, I have another book called The City in Mind. Okay. And then I have a whole raft of out-of-print novels yeah. that you could yeah. uh, find in yeah. the discontinued merchandise yeah. bin yeah. of the Kmart. Yeah. Well, you'll find them uh, provocative, as provocative as any American thinker that's out there today, in my opinion. Well, so, golly, you make well, me golly, blush. You, no, I don't. No, or I don't. as we but say back true. home, it's by true. the Jesus. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Thanks, Jim. This is Glenn Heemstra. This was Futurist.com, and thanks for watching.